it's been a crazy blockbuster budget in terms of the number of changes to personal finance and tax rates. Uh, hi, this is Neil Borate. I am editor personal finance at Mint. I am joined today by CA Karan Batra of Charter Club, and he's going to decode all of today's complexity for us. So, Karan, uh, let's focus today on capital gains tax, and uh, let's go asset by asset. Mm. So, if we can start first with stocks and equity mutual funds, mm. if you can give us um, the long-term capital gains tax, uh, short-term capital gains tax, and what the dividing line is. So here we have STCG, LTCG and the holding period, right? So the government says that earlier LTCG was taxed at 10%, which has now been increased to 12.5%. Right. Long-term capital gains has gone up to 12.5%. Uh, Short-term capital gains has also gone up. From 15 to 20%. Yep. So this too has sent shockwaves in the market and a lot of short-term traders, yes. their lives have become quite difficult now. Yes. How about the holding period? Holding period is the same. So earlier as well, short term was less than one year and long term was more than one year. That is 12 months. Yeah. Now that remains the same. There's no change in this. Correct. Mm. So now this is for domestic equity, Indian equity. Yes. If you had to buy foreign stocks, right? what uh, changes have happened there? So for foreign stocks, the period of holding is 24 months instead of 12 months. Yeah, that stays the same. Right? Yes, that stays the same. The LTCG earlier was 20%. Now again, it is 12.5%. Correct. Although it was 20% with indexation. Yes. Um, now it is without indexation. Correct. So government is doing away with the concept of indexation altogether. Yeah. That is the big shocker of this budget. Yes. Especially yes. for real estate. We'll talk about that yes. in a while. Yes. Uh, short term remains the same at slab rate. Yes. yes. Right? Then uh, we have debt mutual funds. Hmm. Uh, so there, has there been any change? No. Right? No change. Uh, then let's talk about gold. Mm. and then we'll turn to real estate. So mm. gold, what has been the change? So government basically says that uh, now we are standardizing everything. Yeah. So more than two years, 12.5%. Yeah. Less than two years, slab rates. Got it. So it's not different for different asset classes. Government is standardizing everything. Got it. So basically for gold, um, one is the holding period changes from 36 yes. months to, to 24. 24 months. And uh, instead of 20% with indexation, it becomes 12.5. Yes. So net net, uh, whether 12.5 is better than 20 with indexation depends on number of years yes. of holding etc. Yes. So with yes. gold and foreign equity, it's debatable. Mm -hmm. With real estate, there's a clear cut shocker. So we'll right. talk about that now. Right. So Karan, uh, let's assume that my house I have bought for one crore, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, I have bought this in 2010. Say 2011. 2011. Yeah. And I sell it uh, this year for two and a half crores. Yes. Right. Yes. 2.5 CR mm. in 2024. Yes. So my gain is 1.5 crores. Yes. Now earlier I would have been taxed on this at 20% but with indexation. Yes. So it would not have been 20% of 1.5 but 20% of whatever the indexed value. Yes. So typically yes. what would the indexed value of 1 crore be? So this would be around 2 crores. Got it. So this one becomes two, two. crores yes. and uh, sold at 2.5. Yes. So it would have been 50 lakhs, uh, 50 lakhs and 20% of that, which is 10 lakhs. Yes. That would have been my tax. Yes. Now without indexation, mm. where do we stand? So without indexation, the gain is 1.5 crores. On that, it's a flat tax of 12.5%. Right. And this works to around 18.7 lakhs. I see. So the tax has almost tripled in this example. It has it has doubled, almost doubled yeah, in this yeah, example. Yeah, yeah. And you know, this is one case where we have taken a relatively short period. So right. real estate, you can have a multi-decade right. uh, holding period, ancestral homes, land, etc. Right. Where the impact of this could be much, much bigger. Yes, yes, yes. In some cases, it would be beneficial. In others, it would not be so beneficial. Yeah. So in cases where the real estate prices are not increasing, in those cases, indexation benefit was better. Right. But where the, as on date, where the prices are increasing more than the inflation, yeah, yeah. then the uh, new scheme is better. So in this example, if we see from 2010 to 2020, yeah. there was not much movement mm. in real estate prices. Correct. So that's where indexation helped quite a bit. Yes, yes, yes. And that's, that's gone away. Okay. Yes. Any other significant changes that you see in this budget? Apart uh, from this. 
So you had mentioned buyback. Yes, yes, yes. So buybacks earlier they were tax free in the hands of the individual, but the company used to pay a tax. Right. But now it is tax in the hands of the individual. Right. And sadly, it is not tax in the same nature. So if I'm holding an asset. it should be taxed in the nature of capital gains right so if i could just take a step back yeah. why this change was done there was a demand from the industry that uh, in buyback which is basically the company buying back its own shares from its own shareholders mm. if you tendered your shares to the company you had no tax it was totally tax free yes if you chose not to tender you remained a shareholder mm. then the company deducted a uh, tax on your behalf right, right? so it was kind right. of unfair to right. shareholders who chose to stay put uh and this is an attempt to get rid of that anomaly but but you think it's made it even worse in a sense so what a lot of people were doing it or a lot of promoters were doing it if they had to declare dividends yeah. they would have had to pay 30% tax plus Correct. s plus surcharge so they used to declare as uh, buyback. buyback and buyback on the buyback the company pays only around 18 20% right. not more than that so there was a tax arbitrage right now they say even if there's a buyback yeah. then also we'll tax it as dividends only right So instead of the company paying it, you pay it. Earlier the company was paying around eighteen twenty percent, but now you pay it at thirty percent. Correct. Correct. So that is what we feel is not so correct. So rather than tendering the shares in a buyback, it is better a person sells on the market because if I am selling it on the market, capital gains. Capital gains tax is twelve point five percent only. <laughs> I don't mind paying the SGT. So basically, it could freeze the buyback market. Right? Yes. Yes. It's obviously, this is just the budget proposal. There will be right. debate, discussion, and there will right. be a final uh, finance bill. Right. Um, but it's been it's been quite a shocker this time right 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 i mean so many changes so many surprises coming in during the year i mean this is not something that is happening before the year so normally the budget comes in feb yeah. and everybody has time to prepare till april correct right so if there's a real estate transaction which is underway yeah, the yeah. person could have concluded in the next month correct, month correct. but here in this case it has to happen today itself yeah so <laughs> let's take this example only the tax liability of the person is increasing from 10 lakhs to 18 yeah, lakhs yeah. there's a 8 lakhs additional burden he may refrain from selling the transaction yeah, yeah. or the transaction could go in a tiffy absolutely that is not something that we like all right karan thank you so much for decoding this for thank us thank you so much thank you